At this point, we're ready to build the front-end application. And for this, I'm going to be using a framework that's very popular. It's called Angular, and I'm going to be using a tool called Angular CLI so that I can create this application and, and manage it and run it and, and deploy. So if you don't have the Angular CLI, you can just run npm install, and then you, you do at Angular slash CLI. And if you don't have npm, of course, this is the Node Package Manager, so you can just go and install Node.js at Node.js.org and just install whatever version you want. Any version here will work. So once you have access to Node Package Manager, you can just install the Angular CLI, and then we can run you know, ng-new and then give a name for the application, and then we can cd into that folder, which is the folder of the application that will be created by the Angular CLI, and then you can do ng-serve to just run the application on a local server. So I already have an npm install and I already have the Angular CLI install. So I only have to run the uh, second command and then go from there. So I'm just going to do open my terminal. I've already navigated in the folder, which is in my downloads folder where I want to create this application. So I'm just going to do ng new and then give a name to the application. So I'm going to call it employee manager app and run this. It's going to ask me if I want to do uh, if I want to have routing in the application. Now, if you remember, this is a one page application, so I'm not going to have any routing. So I'm going to say no. And it's asking me what style sheet I want to use. Is it going to be SCSS or SAS or less or uh, CSS? So I'm going to stick with CSS because I'm going to be using Bootstrap. So I'm going to be using CSS Bootstrap and I'm just going to run this. Now, while this is creating the application and building everything, Let's take a quick look at the design of the application so that we can see where we are. So back in our design, and this is the same design that I showed you earlier when we were working on the back end. The only difference is this time we're focusing on the front end, which is why I put more details on the front end, which is the client. So we've already done everything on the server, at least for this small application that we're building. Uh, we've built a server, we've built a controller, and we build our access to the database, and we have all the endpoints ready. So at this point, we just need to build the front end. And the front end is going to have a few different components. There's going to be a UI, which is going to be what the user is going to see on the screen. And then this UI is going to be connecting to a component. And that component will have access to a service. And then that service will be what will have access to the back end. So the service will be able to make HTTP requests to the back end, uh, depending on what the user wants from the UI through the component through the service and then over the internet we're going to access our backend so this is the the little design that i have for this application and the first thing we're going to be doing once we have the front end application or angular application ready is to build the service in that application so that we can communicate with our backend so we're going to pretty much have a mirror of what we have in the in the backend so we have like an endpoint to update on an employee. So we're going to have that as well in the service. We have an endpoint to add an employee. We're also going to have that in the actual client service. And once we have the service ready, we'll be able to use it to update our UI. And this is going to be done through the component because the component is like a middleware here. So hopefully this is making sense because it's a very, very simple application. We're not really doing anything really complicated. Obviously, this application is very simple. It's like one of the simplest application you can build, at least for this design that I'm trying to do, like having a back end and front end. But again, applications like this can get really, really complex. You can have proxies in between and all kinds of stuff. But we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to keep it very simple. I just want to show you how um, you can actually go about designing a back end application and a front end application using Spring and then front end application using Angular. And the back end application is framework or library agnostic which means you can use pretty much anything that can communicate with the backend. You can use vanilla JavaScript to make like simple fetch requests, or you can use uh, React JS, or you can use React Native. Like you can use anything that you can use to make any HTTP request to communicate with any server. Uh, the backend will work with it as well. So we didn't necessarily have to use Angular. It just happened to be the framework that I'm, I'm just choosing you, but you could use Angular JS or React JS or React Native or whatever front end you want, or just plain old um, vanilla JavaScript, just making a simple request to the back end as long as you know what the endpoints are. So the process has finished. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, CD into that folder. So I'm gonna do employee manager app. And here I can just run ng-serve just to start the application on a local server. 
and we're just going to give this some time to come up. The application has started and we can access it in localhost 4200. This is just the default port. Of course, you can override that by just passing a simple uh, argument. Uh, so let's go and access this. So we're going to do localhost and port 4200. And you can see we have this page, which is just the default page that you get when you create an Angular application. So here it is. This is the front end application. Right now, it's, there's really nothing going on here. This is just a simple, a simple page that they give us with some documentation information. So in the next video, we're just going to go ahead and start creating the service so that we can communicate with the backend.